Let's go over to a little bit of trash talk that's coming from outside of both organizations. <laughs> Obviously, Mike Tomlin's comments on Tuesday about Deontay Johnson sparked a lot of controversy, sparked a lot of commentary. And part of that was from former NFL general manager Michael Lombardi, who on his Lombardi Line podcast talked a little bit about Mike Tomlin's comments and saying that they were intentional. Quote, he's not the least bit worried about this guy at all. Let's be clear here. He hasn't seen him on tape. He knows who he is. He didn't like him as a person or as a player. That is a very damning statement from Michael Lombardi on the thoughts of Mike Tomlin about Deontay Johnson. Yeah, there are, look it, there are certain things, and I'll just, as I do here, so I'm comfortable when I say this, there are certain things that you listen to from people who claim that they like know everything that goes on in the NFL. Then there are certain things where you look at it and say, dude, shut up. And I hate to be that guy, but dude, shut up. There, Mike Tomlin loved Deontay Johnson when he was a Pittsburgh Steeler. He didn't like him the last year. The last year and a half, Deontay kind of hit that point where mm, there was more wrong, there was more negative than positive that was coming from Deontay Johnson. But you don't ink this guy to a long-term deal. You don't get rid of guys like Juju Smith-Schuster, Sh excuse me, to say Deontay sucked. And there's no worry here. And this, no, no. The Steelers had a ton of respect for Deontay Johnson. Mike Tomlin had a ton of respect for Deontay Johnson. It hit a point where you had to choose between Deontay and George Pickens because you had one cancer in the locker room and another cancer in the locker room. And quite frankly, the second cancer is George Pickens. And you're not getting rid of George Pickens. If you're picking between Deontay, who's on the final year of his contract, or George Pickens, who's 23 years old, you're picking George Pickens every single time. That's what it came down to. Guys, there is no better place to be during football season than at a Pittsburgh Steelers game. And now, Game Time has this new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live, like the Pittsburgh Steelers, even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. I, as everybody knows, am going to see Creed in a couple of weeks. And it was effortless finding my tickets on game time. Why? Because they lay everything out for you. All in pricing shows you the total up front with no surprise fees at checkouts. Seat views means that you get to see a panoramic view of your seat in the app before you ever buy the tickets. The lowest price guaranteed or game time will credit you 110% of the difference and game time ticket coverage. Your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account and use our code all Steelers for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply again, create an account and redeem code A L L S T E E L. E-R-S for $20 off. Download game time today. What time is it? Game time. It did not come down to Mike Tomlin didn't like Deontay Johnson as a player. No, Mike Tomlin loved Deontay Johnson as a player. Deontay Johnson is the most open wide receiver the NFL has seen since Deontay Johnson has come into the league. That's who he is when he's at his best. He's not doing much in Baltimore, but those words were simply... Look at dude, I'm not trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. It probably was a little bit of a jab at Deontay, but it was just that. It was just simply, I don't care, move on. It was not, I hate this guy. He sucks as a player because mm -hmm. that's the part of it. He doesn't suck as a player. The Steelers know he doesn't suck as a player, but you don't know what they're not going to do. Draw attention to a situation that they don't want to get any bigger. So that's what it comes down to. Sometimes people just spew stuff, man, and and Lombardi loves to spew stuff from time to time, and that's what this is. This is simply, I need to get some views. Let's get some views, and some people might say, no, that's coming out of your mouth. Yeah, it is, because this one's ridiculous. It just goes too far. There are some things that just go too far. This is simply it. Yeah, I mean, Mike Tallman is notoriously one of the biggest player coaches in the entire National Football yes. League, one of the most well-liked coaches in the NFL. He doesn't get that way by saying that he dislikes a person and a player. Like, he, he didn't no. dislike Deontay, and obviously everybody talks about what he said Tuesday. I think it's more so, hey, this guy has three targets in two weeks with the Ravens. 
I'm more concerned about stopping Mark Andrews. I'm more yeah. concerned about stopping Derrick Henry. I'm more concerned about stopping Zay Flowers than I am a guy that they have barely featured in their offense for two weeks after trading yep. them for a very low draft pick. Yeah, he couldn't even t look at Mike Tomlin's the guy that when you ask, hey, how has Lamar improved? He said, I don't know. You got to ask them. Like, you know, you know, dude, you watch the film. You know what Lamar is getting better at, but you're not going to give the attention there. That's all that was. Was it a jab? Probably a little bit. Probably. Hey, Moss, was it? One. Yeah. Was it this intentional and this big and this blown out and should be this big giant issue? No, dude, let's relax. It's not that big of a deal. I, uh, I got to sometimes you got to tell a guy to shut up. And in, th in this instance, just shut up. There's just no, no need to, to carry on like this.